This car is the, it was the original offspring of the collaboration between Fiat and Chrysler because we brought, Fiat brought the platform over to the U.S. and it's built on that platform. But then we built it in Toledo, then we decided because of the importance of Wrangler to Toledo, we decided to move it from Toledo to, to Belvedere. So this is the first incarnation of the Cherokee in the state of Illinois. Can I, been built. So we lived through every part of this, piece by piece, the redesign, the engine, uplift, the interiors, the very expensive process, but I think we did it for the right reasons. You made the decision last week to announce that you were going to be going uh, to move Ram production, Ram heavy production, back to the United States from Mexico because of NAFTA. Um, is that an indication that you think NAFTA will be torn up or dramatically offered? I think it's unlikely, and I'm 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 not close enough to the negotiations. But I think it's it's unlikely that that some tweaking to the agreement will can be avoided. Something has to get something will happen. Something will happen. But I'm not sure it's going to impact cars and the move from Mexico or otherwise. I think we need to understand one thing: this the, the heavy duty truck was moved at least in Chrysler's uh, case it was moved to Mexico in 2008. 90% plus of what gets produced out of Mexico gets sold in the United States. I think this notion of making a car which has got nearly 100% utilization in the United States is a bit bizarre. I think it should have never been moved. Repatriation of the heavy duty RAM was owed. We had to correct the mistake of 2008. We did it, we've done it now. We are working in an environment which is a lot more beneficial. Um, it's much more pro-business than it's been in a long time. The tax reform is going to compensate some of the cost differential in building the car here as opposed to building it in Mexico. So we feel comfortable that we've now found sort of the economic framework within which to get this done. One last question. If NAFTA is altered in some fashion, as you expect, how much is that going to hit the consumer here in the United States? Because some production is still going to remain in Mexico and Canada. I, 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 it's impossible for me to tell because because it, it I think some of the, the some of the component stuff that's been moved to Mexico is ingrained in that jurisdiction. And it's going to be very difficult to move back. That's why the you know the content the U.S. content of these vehicles, which is really the next battle that we're going to be fighting on NAFTA, is an important issue. There's a limit to what I think can economically be produced in this country, and I sincerely hope the administration understands this. This has got nothing to do with assembly, which we have now decided to bring back to, you know, including 2,500 jobs right. that are coming back to Michigan. You know, pigs get fat, fat and hogs get slaughtered. We've got to be very careful we don't try and overreach in the renegotiation, and then we find a happy balance that keeps everybody in check. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.